Good morning all. Uh, continuing with my PWM5 solar charge controller build. Now these are the through hole versions of the PWM5. I have two. Well, actually, I have three if you include a bare board. And I need three for my power wall uh, outside. Three solar panels, three big Trojan batteries. I need three charge controllers. Now, in the post, I think yesterday this turned up, I have this, which is going to enable me to carry on with this project so let's have a look at this and its resistors and specifically these are eighth watt resistors because that's what i designed this board to take and they're 82k and 20k the magic numbers which uh, provide me with an almost direct reading of battery voltage as a binary number i covered that in a previous video so let's get um, some of these into these boards. Now, are these 1%? Let's have a really close look. And so these are 2002. So that's uh, 200 with two extra noughts. That's 20,000, 20K. And that little ring on the end does look brown, doesn't it? So that is presumably the 1% thing. Let's take a look at these. We're looking for the grey. That's this way around. So we've got oh, bright light. Eight two o two. So eight two o o o. And again, looks like there's a brown ring on the end because these resistors do need to be one percent because of course they're measuring. It's a potential divider measuring the battery voltage, so they need to be fairly accurate. Let's warm up the TS100 soldering iron. Someone asked the other day, what model is it? It's the TS100. I also have the TS80. I don't use it as much because as far as I know, um, it only has two tips available and they're not the sort of tip I like. I like this, which is, oh, well, let's have a close up of that. It's uh, that one. I don't want to melt my magnifying glass, but that is a, what I call a wedge. I think it is called a wedge. So it's a small wedge. I prefer that for through hole. If I'm doing surface mount, I'll go to a small conical tip, which the TS80 does have, but it only seems to have conical tip and a very fat chisel uh, tip. Ah, I should do a post bag style reveal of where these came from on eBay. I'll do that right now. And so these are 100 pieces, eighth watt metal film resistor, plus or minus 1%, that's very important. They do values 1K to 910K. I think you can probably see that that says 20K, 100 pieces. And uh, they are just 99 cents for 100 pieces of those resistors. So of course I bought the 20K and the 82K. And these come from Robot Maker 2015. Yeah, it's working well now, that um, webcam. Oh, that's gone cold. That uh, insert webcam image in OBS. I tweaked the settings. I think I took the bit rate from 2500 down to 2048. Put the frame rate at 24 frames. And what else did I do? Oh yeah, I fixed it at 1270. I've always done 1270 on the screen capture. It can't do on my PC, uh, whatever this resolution is. 1080. That's right. Can't do that. Right. Let's cut some uh, resistors off. Where are my cutters? Here they are. So let's have three of the 20Ks uh, for my three boards. Oh, and I'll have three of the 82Ks for my three boards. All right, 20K in there. Now where's my blue tack thing? This makes the image go all dim, so I'm just gonna lock the exposure and then that's gonna be nice and bright. So I'm really keen to get these three charge controllers up and running. A little bit of solder. Um, because then I can start distributing lights, everyone. I, put, I want to put lights in the sheds. So the three Trojan batteries will be the central. Ah, this one is a grounding point. So it's got spokes. Just seem to have to hover over that for a really long time. Yeah, I want to put lights in the sheds, lights in the work zone, which I now believe is staying. 
my wife seems to have given it a reprieve she's saying oh I can put all plants in it and make it all nice and somewhere we can sit and enjoy the plants she gets terrible hay fever so I can't see that happening somehow but anyway it's good because I think it's had a reprieve so I want to festoon it with lights strip lights and bulb lights and any other lights I can get my hands on that are 12 volts uh, so that's 20k let's have an 82k for this board and then I want to put lights in the shed at the top of the garden the shed at the bottom of the garden my new shed which I'm in the process of deciding how to build I think I'm going to build a deck I was going to put it on concrete blocks and uh, wooden bearers uh, carcassing I found these carcassing oh that's odd why is there an orange thing there? oh no it's, it's not it's the gray red yes yeah, gray red so let's turn that on that way around but I changed my mind on that and decided to go with a deck so I'm actually going to build a deck out of decking timber because decking timber seems like the cheapest timber you can get so I'm going to build a deck and then put the shed on the deck so I'm experimenting with mixing my own concrete I've never done concreting before but it did seem to work reasonably well that 82k doesn't go to ground so why am I having difficulty soldering that side I don't know but yeah there it is 82k comes directly off uh, the battery voltage track there potential divider the midpoint of the two resistors goes into the chip and the other end of the 20k goes to ground and that gives you the potential divider so let's cut that off good these shades of red are wildly different shades uh, oh on the camera it looks almost purple on the 82k and on the camera it looks almost brown on the 20k so I think I'm just gonna put the uh, resistance meter over these resistors just to double check that they are the right ones yes I know it doesn't look like that left hand leg of the 82k is soldered or the uh, back end of the diode the mm, anode of the diode for that matter but it doesn't really matter because you've got a cylinder a cylinder of copper running down through the hole and if it's soldered really anywhere down that cylinder then you have a connection so it doesn't really matter if you don't have a nice mound of solder at the top. So on ohms, let's try this one. This is the 20k. That's pretty good. I don't know why my resistance measurements wander so much, but uh, 20.1. Okay, let's go with the 82k. And that is indeed... 82.7 K is that within 1% yes of course uh, oh actually only just isn't it because that 7 can't be over 8 or can't be 9 can it so yeah that was quite, let's try the other one actually 82.7 No, that can't be right. 83, what are you talking about? 82.7 again. Well, it's consistent. And that, of course, assumes that my meter is correct. And I don't know whether it is or not, because it hasn't been calibrated. Very interesting. The lead coming out of one side seems to be a thicker... Um, well I was going to say copper but you don't really know these days whether any of these components have actual copper legs I could try a magnet just to see if they're steel oh they are oh no that's probably the component itself oh no they are steel legs yeah or they're ferrous anyway interesting incidentally if you're wondering where post bag 137 went well, I unfortunately made an editing mistake on it using YouTube's new in-place editor. And I edited it down to four seconds in length. <laughs> By mistake, obviously. 
because there was a shot right in the middle of the video that said you can't buy lead solder in the UK and in hindsight I thought well that's a bit um, blase no that's not quite the right word but it but it was too much and I thought I'll take that four seconds out and I got the editor wrong and in, I instead of taking the four seconds shot out I took everything else out <laughs> And all I had left was four seconds of me saying you can't buy solder in the UK, which is not true because you can. And I just bought a half kilo reel of solder from CPC far now. And there weren't that many checks. There weren't any checks, in fact. So I was able to buy lead solder as a general member of the public. Rapid Electronics um, actually have a thing saying you can't buy leaded solder unless you've got a credit account with them which means they know something about you, that you are a professional and not a member of the general public. And that really is the only thing which in law decides whether you can buy sold or not, whether you are the general public or a professional, whatever a professional is. And actually, I was going past the uh, radio spares in at Heathrow. So I popped in there um, on my way out of London and tried to get some lead solder, but that shop has almost nothing in it. It was very sparsely uh, full of stuff and they only had lead free solder and lead free paraphernalia, soldering paraphernalia for sale. So um, I couldn't buy any from RS and they do seem to be much more expensive. I couldn't find a cheap reel of solder, whereas Rapid and CPC both had them for around £22. My camera suddenly occasionally goes berserk so it's failed to record video so I swipe right or swipe left or right the application the app to restart it and then I hope that it works but it's now come up saying it's in portrait mode but I don't think it is because I think I set a tick box saying never shoot in portrait mode who would shoot video in portrait mode so this is my bare board which uh, these two resistors are the first components on which is how you're supposed to do it how you're supposed to do it if you're a proper engineer you have to fit the components oh that's come unstuck in the right order otherwise you're not a proper engineer apparently according to some Good, all my resistors are on. Right, what else can I put on here? Ah, 220K. Uh, my... oh, this will do. Uh, 220K there, there, and oh, right in there. And these are again 8th watt. And I think I've got some 8th watt 220K. I think they're 5%, but it doesn't really matter because these are used in effectively a digital circuit, which is just a switch, it's the high side driver switch for the MOSFET so their value is really uncritical let's just check that I've got them yes here we are 220k uh, 0.125 watts that's eighth watt carbon film resistor oh it doesn't give the uh, percentage pack of 2000 we'll have to have a close-up look at these these I bought for my well initially Vero board charge controllers let's cut a bunch of these off and then my PCB based PWM5, which was the single sided PCB, which I had made locally. Let's just check the tolerance on these. Oh, nice old three band. Excellent. Uh, yeah, so we got, well, I'll flip it around actually. We've got red, red, yellow, and a gold band, which, yes, I think gold is 5%. Yes, if I remember correctly. So three per board, so we need three, six, nine of these. And it does appear that we're at about 15 minutes of recording. So I think that's it for this video. All I've managed to do is solder some resistors in. Well, let's get these in and then I think I'll call it a day. See these ones, the magnet attaches itself to the resistor, but not to the legs so these have proper copper legs so let's solder three 220k resistors in here there are three per board 
don't think any of these are grounded. Oh, actually one of them might be. Yeah, this one is. And this is the ground point. So on you go. And that one. Right, crop those off. And then I'll just put uh, the remaining six on these other two boards. And as I say, that's really it. Hmm, a little bit of a mismatch here. We've got the resistor slightly pushed over by the flange on the bottom of the LED. That LED could have gone, I don't know, a quarter of a tenth, whatever that is, a fortieth to the right, because the legs of the MOSFET are there. So yeah, that could do the little tweak. Yeah, there is space, I think, to route that track. In a version two, perhaps. And a small forest of wires to trim off. Let's put that down there for the trimming. Yes, this is very therapeutic. Just a little bit of soldering, and then I think I might have to go and do some, I don't know, foundation preparation or concreting or something. So that's it. I'm soldering this uh, resistor next to the LED over at an angle in preparation for the LED uh, being rather too close to it. Now something has just dropped through the letterbox. So that could be quite interesting. That could uh, be another project moving forward. Who knows? Anyway, that's it for today. So cheerio.